Wanna sales here in Missouri continue to skyrocket since recreational sales begin back in February. And at this rate, that means Missouri could be the fastest state to reach $1 billion in sales by the end of this year. Fox 49's Parker Paget spent this afternoon speaking to dispensaries on how the increased spending could affect inventory. Parker? Yeah, larger dispensaries may not have to worry about inventory issues for stocking up in advance or buying in bulk. However, for one small outlet, they say there's no shortage, but rather a squeeze on specific items. We definitely have something for everybody out there. Marijuana sales higher than ever. You know, we went from a normal busy day being about 250 patients to now a uh, normal average day is anywhere between four to five to six hundred patients. You know, we're not in a, a high tourist area or anything like that, uh, but we are in an area that has a, a large population of recreational users. With the amount of customers climbing, worries of a shortage could be around the corner. Um, we've seen uh, suppliers that have previously um, given us early access to things and stuff like that have to go to, to completely taking away any wholesale avail availability. Alex Paulson with Easy Mountain in Republic tells me one kind of item is slowly coming in, affecting some of their sales. Um, flour is definitely the product that we're seeing the largest amount of shortage on, uh, the squeeze on. Uh, we do have uh, about 50% of our sales are flour. Um, so that's a massive amount of business for us. Even if a shortage is possible, local dispensaries are confident they can keep up. Around the time that we started hearing that, you know, REC was going to go through, we automatically started preparing, uh, expanding our product lines, uh, ordering more bulk, having more, you know, in the back inventory. So we do still have a, a steady supply. Uh, we are having to source from different vendors, uh, which is really a good thing because we've ended up partnering with some new people. The two locations say they may not have a specific item in stock, but have more options for customers to choose from. But if you're just coming in for flour, indica, sativa, something like that, we'll still have 25 or 30 options for you. We, like I said, we keep that wide variety, um, have everything from Everything, basically, yeah. Paulson says one benefit for having a smaller location is that smaller orders can last longer compared to bigger stores. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Ozarks First.